आप सब सी से एक ही बोल सकता हूँ आप लोग जितना भी अडॉप्शन करिए टेक्नोलॉजी का सस्टेनेबिलिटी का गुड गवर्नेंस वो आपके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के लिए अच्छा है हम भी सरकार के तरफ से जो भी आपके लिए मदद चाहिए हम पूरी तरीके से मदद करेंगे तेलंगाना गवर्नमेंट इस बेसिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स में जो गवर्नमेंट का क्लियरेंसेस में गवर्नमेंट में जो भी अच्छा काम है जो भी काम इंडस्ट्री के लिए होते हैं हम तेजी से तेजी से आपको कराने के लिए हम ट्राई कर रहे हैं इनफैक्ट इन गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो वाट एवर द प्रोग्राम वी डू वी डू ओनली डिजिटल ट्रांसफर प्रस्तमार चेयरमैन गार शेखर रेडी So this, as you said, the fourth edition we are organizing here, uh, and uh, all our member companies of uh, CFOs are here. Uh, it's a learning session. Uh, from the, the, there are uh, no good speakers entire day. Uh, many speakers uh, from uh, from our member companies or other companies also they are here, and uh, it's it's a learning process. Overall, the new tech, how the new technology adopted, you know, new systems are there. टेक्नोलॉजी they adopt the latest technologies in the in the coming future and uh, you know be prepared for the, you know to be uh, you know uh, equal level at the international standard so that will help our industry to perform well and to cut down the cost of the, the overall uh, you know the product cost and uh, wherever they can save it uh, the you know, how to make it more and more robust and more performance oriented you know these uh, systems will help them in adopting the technology So, real estate role 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 CFO 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 role is 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 very big. Uh, is, is a, as Arish Rao, as said, is a backbone for every company. Like, uh, you know, for for any any financial uh, you know, the involvement in the company, whether they're taking the loans, or repaying the loans, or the uh, the the internal uh, systems, how they're functioning, is there any pilferage is there? How efficiently the funds are uh, deployed. So all these things, you know, is that is his job, and where the, the the surplus money has to be spent, you know, how efficiently they can run their finances, and the way to get the lesser uh, per interest rate rates. So because our real estate industry basically we need a, a, a very you know the cash intensive you know uh, uh, industry. So how best we can uh, know the 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 our inventory. Hmm. You know, inventory, uh, minimum inventory. How you can run the show from from stage to stage of the construction? Uh, because if you buy huge inventory, keep it there. The interest component is there, which is huge. That means our profits will come down, or or we have to charge the customer more. So that is not a you know best practice. Hmm. So the best practices are to learn from all the speakers who are there present every day. So in each sector, uh, in each, uh, every technology, even sustainability point of view. So definitely, that will you know rethink us. You no, know? when other people are adopting, why should not we adopt such uh, policies, technologies, you know, procedures, SOPs? You know, with that we can wherever the pilferage is there, we can you know plug that. Hmm. So definitely, uh, this is a day-to-day. We are learning. It's not that uh, the one uh, uh, happening today, but uh, over a period of time, in every company, every CFO is you know try to educate himself and to help the company, and the, even the promoters also. Yeah. Nowadays, most of the promoters are also yes. learning. Yes. For all of us, it is a learning every day. Yes. So uh, we have to compete yes. with each other, uh, even among the developers or among the, any product manufacturer also. And there is a lot of competition. So unless they come out of the best practices, they will not survive. Your cost of your product will go up. You will become a sick company. You know, or you have to pay the, your finances for what which you have taken loan from different financial institution. Unless you um, uh, place those funds in a proper way, you know, in a in a fruitful manner, 
and at the same time you should get back your profits. You know? So in everything they will play, finance department will play a big role. And people are using now technology and also to the and the sustainability component is also there. And even how best we can take care of our surplus funds, how where to where to spend that money also, in which direction, how to expand our companies also. So all these things, the different experts are there, and you can also speak to them, um, learn more from them. I'm a developer. Whatever I know, I do. You are deputy CFO uh, for Dr. Reddy's. So what are the current challenges CFOs are facing right now? So is uh, mainly suppose now technology is becoming very very uh, rapid phase for most of the companies. If without technology, definitely I think you are the company cannot run if you next five years if you see that. That's where is how we can bring the best technologies and how technologies can enable the business growth. It is like embedded very much into the businesses. As you're mentioning technology, so chat GPT, open AI, how it is going to rule the CFO world? So it is simple. Suppose today if you have to drop any legal contract, hmm. suppose like we have to go to the legal person, we have to go to the res respective function, it takes a long time. You just go and ask the chat GPT, just give the draft agreement. It is almost 80 to 90 percent text is perfect. Hmm. Only the 10 percent, 10 to 20 percent, whatever is suiting the contract terms, and that only to be incorporated. So, if the way in which I think it is happening, all the lower level, even some of the jobs also may get into the automated. So, so currently the team is also mentioning about the sustainability. So, what do you think? What are the sustainability goals should SF, uh, CFO set for himself? See, first, sustainability means it's something to be given to the society. It is exactly. not for the always is making the profit. True. So, as a uh, as a responsible company, how we are contributing to the uh, society in the form of CSR or how water neutrality or the energy savings or any other activity. Suppose in Dr. Reddy's, we have just came up with the concept, always you have heard about minimum wages, what is I think uh, determined by the government of India. But we came up with the concept living wages. If a person has to live very comfortably, what are the living wages are required? It is what I think we have declared as one of the ESG goal. So now, when I go to the overseas markets, when I'm talking to the customers, first they will not ask how much is your turnover, what is your profit. First they will ask what is your ESG framework. What are you doing? How are you doing? So this is the first question will come. Once you satisfy, then I don't know. Suppose they think this is a company. Definitely we can get into the business models, and they will start talking about the business term. If you don't have the ESG framework you may lose the business opportunities. That's what is like the world is moving towards that direction. That's why sustainability is not a very, very important. It is like a part of the business model. If sustainability is not there, the company, however it is doing, one day it will have a significant challenges. It will face the, uh, uh, it will have an impact on the business. So sustainability is one of the driving factors for every industry. At last, what do you want to suggest to young leaders or young uh, learners who wanted to be CFOs, both of you? Yeah, CFOs, it's like a first in the initial phase. Always they should put their best to just get the recognition. Once they have the recognition, then for them there is an unlimited career growth. So how, whatever, whatever they're doing, it is not for them. First, they have to think about the company to the organization. What can I contribute? How can I be part of the growth journey? Once they have that mindset, I'm sure there's no limit for their career growth. They can rock it. They can rock it. So what do you from your side? Uh, same, same opinion, uh, because one thing is internal. Within the company, Lady Labs is adopting the, what is the, to survive the, the, the employees. Now what is the minimum livable standard? Li living is, wages. Living yeah, wages. Living wages. I think that is the best practice. So when we, within the company, if everybody is happy, the company will grow. Yes. So they they yeah. can perform better. They will do their best. Yeah. They will stretch themselves. It is because that's what I don't know. They give the life for the company. How we can be part of the growth journey? If the company is growing, the employees also will grow. If companies have a challenges, the employee also will face the challenges. If the governance is good company will go in the robust way. Great direction. Yes. It was a wonderful session with you guys. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you.